which planet are you? In an attempt to unearth some thoughts from you, the viewer, the other day on the Sky Sky Facebook page and Twitter, which you should follow if you aren't already, I posted an image of all the planets in the solar system with some arbitrary descriptions. We are very fortunate to live in a solar system with a variety of planets. We also live in a world with a variety of people. So I've accreted some definitions that I thought would be fun just to compare yourself to others with. The chances that you're in a specific category are slim, but perhaps you're most similar to one. Are you Mercury, lazy, keep to yourself and passive? Or are you Venus, aggressive, hot-headed and reckless? Those who choose Earth would be energetic, full of life and even vibrant. Mars would then be wise or stoic. If you are a bold leader who protects others, you're probably Jupiter. Saturn would then be the team worker who is charismatic and outspoken. Uranus could be rather mysterious or unique. And finally, Neptune would best match to the dreamers, maybe with their heads in the clouds, somewhat out there. So do you agree with my definitions of the planets? Are all of my descriptions fitting? I did have a thought process as I went through, so I'll briefly fly through them with you. Mercury, well, to be blunt, Mercury is a little dull. Maybe it's the gray color, the lack of an atmosphere, or maybe it's just because the element Mercury has been known as a poison that makes me think this. Sure, Mercury has some cool magnetic tornadoes and a huge range of temperatures, so maybe some elements of Mercury are worthwhile. Now, Venus is hot. You and I would melt if we touched Venus, so needless to say, I would not get in Venus's way. This is why I imagine the category to be reckless, maybe even a little V-nasty. Earth is magnificent. It seems as though every inch of the surface has some form of life it sees regularly, and may be the only planet where that is true. I think anyone who identifies with Earth is alive in the realest sense possible. And actually, Mars may have once seen a similar description, but not anymore. Mars seems old to me. Granted that age inspires wisdom and intelligence, it seems Mars is awaiting for someone to ask, what's your story? And always responds with proper grandmars. Jupiter, well, Jupiter is massive. Jupiter is bold, the big brother of the solar system, warding off asteroids, protecting the other planets, and serving as the leader of our solar system. Similarly, Saturn kind of speaks for itself. Saturn is the gem of the solar system. Myself and many others have aspired to see Saturn in a telescope to admire its beauty. So clearly, Saturn has a way of persuading us to turn our sights in a certain direction. Uranus is pretty weird. Not only does it have the strangest name of all the planets, it also is rotated on its side. No other planet in the solar system rotates this way. And Uranus has some pretty cool rings too. If nothing else, Uranus may solicit a second glance. And finally, yes finally, Neptune is just way out there. Neptune sits on the edge of the unknown, a symbol for our endeavor to learn about our place in space. Sometimes we can get lost out there. So that was my thought process as I rotated through the planets. Did you have a different point of view? Try to be mercurialistic when choosing which planet you fit best among these eight. You shouldn't orbit too much around the definitions because I just made them up. Now let's uh, turn our attention to you, the viewer. Do you dance to your own Neptune? or do Jupiter self against the thoughts of others. So I've done my best to give all the planets their own unique place in a team. I've worked on many different teams in my life with a variety of personalities, and I found a certain importance to many of them. If you think about it, the solar system is kind of our team, and we're all in this together. Thanks for watching. Let me know which planet identifies you best in the comments below. Then go ask your friends and family and see what they have to say. You might hear some interesting responses. And don't forget, be curious.